Michael Dickens and Queens, we're looking at Bitcoin on the 12 hour chart. We can still see that we are below this trend line and we did break this counter trend line as we can see right here. The counter trend line is the trend that goes against the trend. So the market is in a downtrend. We had a small uptrend. Market broke the counter trend line. And what we can do right now is potentially see market coming up and retest this counter trend line that we did have combined with the Fibonacci around for the 8,500 and for the 9,200. And if we see the market give us bearish re reversal patterns against these levels, the first target that I'm having is for the 4,800 and for the 2,200. And after that, I want to see how market's going to behave. But first of all, as long as we're not closing with the next 12 hour candle inside of this counter trend line, because if we do that, that could definitely be a fake out. You see the retest and then market goes up again. At that point, we need to look at how the market's going to behave around the trend line once again. But right now on Bitcoin, we did break the counter trend line. We can come up and retest the Fibonacci and that could take us back down to the targets that I was talking about first. And after that, we have to see how Bitcoin's going to behave around these levels. Looking at dots, as we all know, the market is bouncing in between levels that could be support and resistance levels, supply and demand levels, whatever you want to call it. But the market is always bouncing in between these levels where the market has been before. When we're drawing up them on the charts, these are the ones that we can actually use to see if the market is bouncing in between it and what we can do against them. So for example, we came up and retested 24, then market came back down to this previous support that we saw and we did break it. And right now we are around 21 and what potentially can happen is that we see a retest and then could be taken back down to 17 and from 17 we just might bounce up to 21 again maybe up to 24 or we just might actually come back down to 13 14 and then we are just bouncing up to 17 again etc etc so when we're having these different targets and especially on the higher time frames targets because the higher time frames is always always more respected than the lower time frames so when we're coming to these levels that's when we're breaking everything down to the lower time frames to see how market is going to behave around it. So on the daily right now, I'm having four important targets on a link and that is 24, 21, 17 and 14, 13. I'm just basing that of going back in time and see where the market has been before. We can obviously see that the market is about still bouncing on these levels. So very important levels on chain link right now to see how market is going to behave around that. I'm not going to have levels up here because that's not relevant. And this one on the 13, 14 is not even relevant either. Three, we are having three important levels it's 24 it's 21 and 17 and when we're breaking 17 we can come back down to 13 14 so that is why I'm having it so you can have a more understanding when the market is moving we're also moving with the market and trying to find where's the next target we could potentially come to but right now on chain link the market first of all can bounce in between these levels until we're actually seeing the market having a clear direction to the upside or we're continuing back down even more